This will be the fourth video in our unit on probability. And we'll start off with our last probability rule that we need to discuss, which is conditional probability. And that's a probability that takes into account a given condition. And if you'll recall, we read this as the probability of event B given event A. And to do that, we use this um, formula, which we take the probability of event A and event B and divide it by the probability of the event that we are given. So the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of both and divided by the probability of which one is given that has already occurred. Okay, if you'll please find example 8 in your notes. In a recent study, it was found that the probability that a randomly selected student is a girl is 0.51, and the probability that it's a, a student is a girl and plays sports is 0.10. If the student is female, what is the probability that she plays sports? So I know the student is female, and so that is the criteria that I'm given. And since I'm given a condition, then I'm going to have to use the conditional probability formula. So I've written out my formula. It says the probability of sports and female divided by the probability that uh, the student is female. And I'm given both pieces of information in the problem. Here I know that the girl, if it's a girl, it's 0.51. So plugging that into my formula, that would be the denominator. And I know that if it, uh, the student is a girl and plays sports, is 0.10. So that goes into the numerator. And then when I divide these two, I get a probability of 0.196. And I also should have started off, this formula is equal to, this is the probability of sports given female. Okay, hey, please find example number nine. The probability that a randomly selected student plays sports if they are male is 0.31. What is the probability that the student is male and plays sports if the probability that they are male is 0.49? Okay, so we are given a condition. It says that what is the probability that the student is male and play sports if they if the probability that they are male is 0.49. So we're going to use the probability of a student playing sports if they are given that they are male. And that would be the formula of probability of both of them, S and M, play sports and male, divided by what we are given, probability of being male. Now in this case, I'm given the probability of a student playing sports and being male, if they are male. I'm given that part, which is my left side of my formula. And it says, what's the probability that the student is male and plays sports? So that's what I'm trying to find, the top part of my formula. I'm going to put a question mark. Divided by the probability that they are male is 0.49. So basically, I've got kind of a proportion-like thing I want to solve. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. This is 0.39 equals what? over 0.49. So if we just multiply those two probabilities together, we will get x equals 0.152. And so this 0.152 represents the probability that they play sports and are male. What will clue you in on using the conditional probability are the words if. So I see if they are male, if they do this, and that will clue you into conditional probability.